Hello, this is the King of Fighters 2000 on a Neo Geo MVS. I'm going to have let pick a team and then I'm going to re-enter it manually. Oh boy, Ram am I playing Ramon? I can't remember. I guess I am. Ramon, my Andy, and Athena. Okay. So, reboot with the Unibios. My Andy, Athena. Uh, try Athena, Athena. Cause why not? I don't. Remember. I never remember what strikers do. I think she just does like a fire sword or something. Go get her, fire Athena. Oh well, yeah, fire sword. Ow. Oh, that was a good jump. Oh, that was a... Okay. Oh, boy. So, Ramon, I don't really understand. He's got counter hits. Or counter attacks, which I am always terrible with. Yeah, set him on fire. Oh, no, that was a heck of a kick. Um... So what did I do the last time with Ramon? He's one of those characters where, like, sometimes I can do pretty well with him. I, I don't know. Maybe he's not. Maybe I'm imagining that. Oh, come on. I was trying to set him on fire and... Uh, can't I just set a guy on fire? No. This is not going great. It's funny because... I haven't really had trouble with Chang lately, but now I'm, um, I'm just blundering right into his big racking ball, so that's not a good strategy. Oh, Andy. Andy's another... <laughs> I like Ramon, I hate fighting him, and I, and I think I'm closer to understanding Andy. Much closer, I suppose. I mean, he's got that thing. It's back. Ah, but what I really need to do is get comfortable with his normal attacks, and I am getting owned. And I still have to fight friggin' Choi. Uh. He's getting me in the air every time. So that's bad. Uh. Hey. Well, I was going to say, Roulette has been on a streak of giving me teams that uh, are just these characters that I don't... And it's really not... I mean, it's, it's me, it's not Roulette. Um... Oh, Athena. Right. So, Athena Striker, she heals... And she can, she puts up a shield that the opponent can run into. I don't think the opponent actually takes damage from that. Nice knee. Ooh. Nice little semi-combo type thing. Now that was supposed to be a throw. There we go. Oh, come on! Uh, what? Ramon, I don't understand. I don't understand. Go! Oh, it's not Flame Athena, I forgot. Oh, 
I didn't get the healing. You have to be standing in a certain spot. And I didn't. I was not there. I should probably just go with Flame Athena. The healing thing, it always feels kind of like when it does work, I feel like, is this cheap? And mostly I can't get it to work. Because I'm bad. Wow, nice. I, I guess. Terry is just blasting away. Ah. Oh, hit him with my Heinekens. Oh yeah, I didn't... Um, I always forget to do this. I mean, it looked like she was doing fine without that, so I don't know. Uh, well, uh, yeah, actually, because one of the... This is... I have it on the European... BIOS setting, and the European BIOS setting does have my or blood enabled by default anyway. I forget which one it is. Oh, I went right into the heck. Oh no, it's going to be Andy versus Andy if I can even get past Joe. Oh my! Oh my! There we go. <laughs> All right, it comes down to Andy versus Andy, and Andy is going to waste me. See, I can't, I can't not get hit by all of this stuff. That's, that's really what I hate about Andy. That's what I was trying to remember. His uppercut. Oh, he's got an air dive? Ooh! Well, I kind of wasted him, so whatever. All right, well, I feel better now. Now I have no more excuses. I mean, I'll come up with some. Just give me, give me a round or two. There's the, the two-player Athena color is kind of gross. Oh, and her... Oh, dang. Oh, the... Oh, I like that hop back. Oh, she's blasting me to pieces. No, don't hit me. Hey. This is where... Oh, what? Ugh. This is where I don't have a good understanding of Ramon's normals, and it's getting me wasted. I just got confused, and... Uh... Oh, no. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh! That hits her out of... Holy cow. <laughs> oh, Athena. Wow. Well, I just handled Athena pretty well. Oh, I hate that. Oh, Kensu. Grab you by the head and throw. Yeah, come on. Oh, whoa. I, oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Oh, shoot. No. Okay, I can't figure that one out. The, uh, uh, the head first dive attack. I thought it must be quarter circle forward punch, but I'm not getting it. Oh, 
What? Yeah. Should have been working a little harder on not losing the bow. It's unhygienic, kid. You're gonna get worms or something. Oh. Oh. Just, wow. Yeah, I just really need to learn. Because Andy... Andy is kind of different. Uh, kind of slightly offbeat normal attacks. And Ramon has very offbeat normal attacks. And I just don't know them well enough. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that sweep's pretty good. At least it looks good. Ah, the knifey, knifey hand. I hate that kick. Can't get away. Oh, it's Ina. Lin is also very offbeat in terms of his offense and so I just didn't really know what to do. Uh, uh. Okay, whatever. How? Yeah, come back that way. Is it off the wall? Do you have to go off the wall? Hmm. Did I go off the wall the first time? I didn't. I, maybe I did. I jumped off the wall and then did it. I don't know. Nice. Yeah, you better, better run. Wised up. Shoot, he countered my 
diving buns. Okay. I don't know how any man could do that. All right, Andy, you gotta pull us out again. Oh, he came back into my grab. Oh, he came back into my flame. Thanks. Well, that's that's what I do when I need some. I need a cheap win. Just do the ball, and if they f can't get around it, just do keep doing it. Mystic ice chimes. Okay, Ramon, you can do it. You can take her down all by yourself. Be strong. Oh no. Okay, Ramon, I don't understand what you're doing. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Ew. Oh, that didn't work. This is not, not going well, actually. Oh, she did it again. How does she get the timing? Uh, oh. How my little fire princess? Ah, Ramon, you almost got her. Mm. Those two times she got me just like that third time, well, that, that didn't count, but with her striker, just as I was, my foot was about to jump in and hit her. That's, ah. Oh. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> it's chill. Oh, no. God. God. Dang it, if you want. That was rough. She was she was throwing me, just getting these ridiculous grabs. And then I was just bumbling around right into her ice breath. I kind of goof off against her because, you know, you've got three characters, so... And then I lost to her once recently. That was, was really embarrassing. Oh! Oh! Ramon, I don't understand. Whoa. Oh, well, that's his CD attack. It's one of his cleaner-looking kicks. I can't win in the air against Kim. Dang it. Okay. Oh, I wanted him to No, you can't get him in the air. Well, I guess defensively I did okay. Oh boy. Dog. Why can't Choi be the striker? I like it when Choi's the striker. Oh gosh. Oh, Athena. Oh, me. Oh, I 
grabbed him. I thought he was going to get me because he can do those, like, a couple jabs usually. Look at those big, weird stone things that are just, like, they just irregularly shaped. It's pretty awesome, actually. Dog. Ooh. Over here. me right through the I'm having trouble with Athena against certain enemies. I just cannot get a hit. Oh, that was totally accidental, but let's keep doing that. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think, big guy? You scared of the bright light? Almost got through it. Choi, I guess. Who was it that, uh, oh, I made it to the finals already? Dang! Well, we did it. Um, who the heck was it that I fought Choi with and just destroyed Choi? Was it Robert? I think it was, oh, it was Robert's dive kick, I think. I guess I, maybe I, with my, just have to try her dive buns more, but. I should try to figure out what the gecko emblem on his hat is. What is that? Is that an emblem for some kind of, for uh, whatever his organization is? Not nests, right? I don't know. I don't even know what nests is. It doesn't make sense. Well, it's just going to end like last week. Talk of a team in the finals. And. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is Takuma. Takuma's the striker, though, so I have a chance. I just have to not get crushed by, well, by Ryo and also King. Well, and Robert. They're all pretty mean. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, sheesh. Uh. 
I haven't been beat up by Rio in a while, so that uh, is too bad. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no, what happened there? For a barbecue, Rio. Okay, this is this is the this is the toughie. Oh, I couldn't. Hey, she's just going with that, huh? Yeah, and she's. Ah. Pixely up. Oh my gosh! How? Oh, Andy was facing the wrong way. Oh my gosh! Well, we lost. We got killed by King again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, he's using me like a stairmaster. So it's King who's my nemesis at the moment. to the finals a lot faster than I thought I would. Still can't quite beat whatever the heck team that is, even when Takum is the striker. Oh my gosh. I forgot him as the striker, just those massive fireballs, which are pretty intimidating, but uh, I just didn't do... I mean, I shouldn't have let Rio hit me that much, for goodness sake. And I don't know what my problem against King is. Like, I mean, she's just tough. But I let her hit me with way too much stuff. I was just not not thinking defensively enough. She is just an offensive powerhouse and she's fast. Like, I got her with Mai's... She stuffed the first time I tried to do Mai's spinning flame thing because I used a heavy. Then I did a light and I caught her. And then I did a heavy and she caught me again. And then I think I just... Yeah, I got flustered and I don't know what... But I definitely got away from doing the lights, which didn't help. So, um, so I had an idea pertaining to playing King of Fighters 2000 and to uh, let's look at dip settings to um, well, to tomorrow. So I've been playing Tekken Tekken games on Saturdays, um, and lately it's been Tekken Tag Tournament. HD, which is fun and all, but I, uh, I think I'm, I think I want to take a break from Tekken. Um, I, uh, 
you know, I, I had been playing it on the default difficulty, same with Tekken 4, playing on the default difficulty, and at that difficulty, it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of fun, you just get in there and you, the thing is, I basically have been playing Tekken like Rock'em Sock'em Robots, like, I don't, I don't understand Tekken's control scheme, I don't understand the four, you know, the four buttons, one per limb scheme, where, you know, you've got your button that's the right hand and the left hand and the right foot and left foot it just doesn't it doesn't click in my head i i don't understand what why such and such a move you know why 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 would i hit the left kick or the left foot button in this circumstance i, I don't know it's weird i mean in my scheme right in my in my head right now it's like well let's see right punch is kind of your meat and potatoes and you can usually do an uppercut and juggle a little bit so that's what i always do uh left punch is kind of usually if you don't do a direction it's like a faster jab so you can catch the opponent with that if you need a you know you know save me punch if you sort of maybe do a back direction or something it can be like a big arm crank around slammo type of attack uh, right kick is your meat and potatoes kick. Left kick is, again, sometimes a faster kick or a longer range kick or something. It's just, uh, you know, it's just, I, I don't know. It's all just weird in my head. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me like KOF, uh, KOF's control scheme does or Virtue Fighter's control scheme does. Um, or, uh, you know, King of Fighters, or not King of Fighters, uh, uh, Street Fighter, um, I just, I just don't get it, I can't even look at a Tekken, uh, uh, move list, that just the, the four buttons in a little diamond shape repeated over and over for combos, it's just, it's just, I, I don't know, man. I, I can't do it. I can't. I'm so I feel like a poser trying to play Tekken and because like, yeah, all I've been doing and when I raised the difficulty, yeah, all I can really do is like an uppercut and hope that works and I can get a couple juggle hits or something. I, I just don't know how to do anything else. And I've occasionally, you know, sort of sat there and learned to do like a different throw or something, but, uh, it doesn't, doesn't really stick, and I, I don't, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not with it, I'm not with Tekken, I, I, like, I, I enjoy goofing around with it, but I feel like I'm not, um, not capable of actually playing it in anything approaching an intelligent fashion, or, or anything, so I don't know, I feel, I feel a little embarrassed to try to play it on a, on a challenging difficulty, because, uh, you know, I'm just sitting there just kind of mashing, and in a way, Tekken is built for mashing, so that should be fine, but I, I don't know. Um, I, I guess somehow I've gotten a little tired of it, so a little tired of what I'm doing with it, I think. So, uh, so I'm gonna, gonna take some time off from, from Tekken, I think. So, uh, so that opens up Saturday, I guess, and, uh, I kind of thought, well, maybe I'll just play some more King of Fighters tomorrow, because, um, I've been talking about needing more time to, uh, to, to get a grasp on more of the characters in this game, like tonight. I mean, I don't, I don't really have Ramon's normal moves down, much less his special moves. I, I mean, I, I despair of doing his special moves anyway, but I'd like to get his normal moves. And Andy, I kind of know some of his special moves, but I would like to know his normal moves a lot better as well. Um, and my... I just kind of, I don't know, I feel okay about my kind of... Although I really got dusted by a couple characters there. That was distressing. I couldn't hit Choi at all. But I kind of feel like Mai is sort of built that way. Like her normals aren't 
great. So you just, you have to, you have to be able to put together things with her special moves, it, it seems like. And, um, but see, maybe that's just an excuse because I don't know her normals well enough. But, but they, her normals seem a little, a little on the weak side. The, you know, whenever I, whenever they come out, it's like, oh yeah, it's a, I mean, she's got like kind of a long range kick thing, but it's sort of weird looking and I don't know, whatever. Uh, I just need to, you know, I could definitely stand to learn her more. So, so yeah, maybe I'll just be do, maybe I'll just do KOF Fridays and Saturdays for a while. I don't know, you know, feel free to let me know what you think of that. And I, I suppose, um, anybody who, who's following this channel just for the tech and will be of course disappointed. And, and I, I feel bad about that, but, uh, you know, if I'm just not feeling Tekken right now, I, I just like I I was rewatching my uh my last tag tournament uh video and I was just it was just me yelling and I was actually angry, just angry and it was just very unpleasant to watch and I I can't imagine that that's that's uh that's making for good good episodes. Um so yeah, I mean, there's you know like when the AI uh, does its like ten move combo or whatever, it just drives me up the wall because that's another part of the game I just don't really. It's just beyond my my brain's capability of understanding. Uh, so yeah, it's just uh, it's just been kind of kind of not so great episodes I think lately. Um for me trying to trying to trying to pretend like I can play Tekken and you know I think I think what Tekken has definitely done right is that it is just kind of fun to get in there and bash away um not you know you don't have to know a whole lot uh and that's fine but you know how long and I played it that way for a long time that was just, you know it was kind of having fun oh I don't think I ever really noticed it corrupt is misspelled here on this uh unibios screen um but you know i mean i guess uh i guess just you know getting in there and and playing it casually once a week uh, it's getting a little a, a little mm, i wasn't I, I found myself looking forward to it less and less each week. That, that's for sure. So I, I guess that's that's just what happened. I I ran out of of the casual play on it, and I'm not good enough to to. I basically just don't understand it well enough to do anything anything really beyond casual play on it right now, unless I just really wanted to focus on it, but somehow I don't, I, I just can't, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I, I ain't got it as, as far as Tekken is concerned, so, so yeah, I think tomorrow, I'm just gonna play some more KOF to heck with it, I've been wanting to play more KOF, so that's what I'll do, um, so yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. Oh, oh, also, I meant to talk about this earlier, and I I was I was feeling like I, I was late, and I forgot everything else, and I just wanted to get going. But uh, I think there's a new old fighting game coming out this year that I am now excited about. It's, uh, what's it called? It's from Konami. It's just sort of shocking. Konami is putting out a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, old-school console and arcade collection so of course it's got like the arcade beat em up turtles in time or whatever the heck that was called um but there were also i guess a bunch of uh game boy like i think there might have been a game boy color one in there there's game boy black and white and then game boy i think it looked like an advanced game boy uh beat em ups in there that from the little clips the extremely brief clips they showed in the teaser those look pretty decent uh but what was really intriguing and I, I the whole reason i saw this i was looking at um uh eventhubs.com which is a fighting game site and the reason they they were posting about this is because it's got 
the uh, Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters game in it. All three versions. So Tournament Fighters, and I'm going to have to look up the chronology. I, I guess they probably all came out at about the same time, but it was that time where... Well, it came out on both NES and... <clears throat> oh gosh, I need water. came out on both NES and Super NES, and uh, then it came out for Genesis as well, but all three look very different, and uh, they're fighting games. Uh, they're, they're just, you know, 2D fighting games. Um, so I've been, you know, sort of wistfully thinking, man, I, I would have liked to play that someday. Because I never, I never had it uh, back when I had an NES. It was probably too late in the NES life for me to have known about it. Um, and I never had a Super Nintendo. My brother did, but I was, I think I had left for college by then. Uh, and I never had a, a Genesis or anything. So I, I never, I never played that game. I've never played any version of, of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Tournament Fighters. So... Um, and I, I looked up video briefly and I didn't see that any of them had a, a, like a, you know, flashing effects thing in them that, that would bother my sometimes photosensitive eyes, which is sort of uh, amazing, uh, to me because a lot of games of that era, especially fighting games, just had, uh, crazy flashing effects all over the place. But, uh, those don't look like they do. Maybe I just got lucky in the bits I looked at. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they tackle Sprite Flicker in the NES version, I guess, with whatever emulation they're using. But, uh, but yeah, that's so, and there's no, no, um, exact release date announced, which was sort of odd, but just, uh, just sometime in, in 2022. So, uh... Yeah, that's this year, right? I keep I'm not even used to saying twenty twenty two. So uh so yeah. Um I I'm definitely looking forward to that because I would like to try all three versions of tournament fighters, even though yeah, it's probably not a like an amazing fighting game, but to heck, you know, I'll play it. And uh and then it's got all those beat 'em ups on it, and I still like beat 'em ups even though I have not been playing them on this channel or anywhere, uh, I used to have a, a beat em up series on this channel, um, that was kind of before I just decided to go, like, all fighting games, or at least, uh, daily fighting games, well, yeah, I was all fighting games, um, but yeah, now that there's a collection with fighting games and beat em ups, that's an excellent excuse to, uh, to work in some beat em up action in there, too, probably, so... So yeah, looking forward to the it's um Teenage Mutant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can't even say that cleanly. Uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga collection, it's called. It'll be out, I think, on PS4, PS5, and the various Xboxes and uh Switch. And probably Steam, probably just everything. I, I don't know why wouldn't they, you know? Um I don't remember for sure about Steam, but I think that was there. Anyway, you, you know, look up the video on YouTube or whatever, the uh, announcement video. It's it looks, looks pretty neat. I mean, hopefully they don't totally do some lame stuff with the emulation or something, but for the most part, all the collections of this sort that have come out lately have at least been, you know, they, they've got the basics of emulation down in this generation finally or the ps4 generation um so yeah new new game that hopefully i'll get to play on the, the channel someday this year and uh you know other than that i am trying to well here i'm sort of collapsing the the, the this uh words the um the expansive no well whatever the the collection of this channel by by not playing Tekken now but uh 
but I'm, I don't mind having a concentrated set of fighting games that are kind of the main thing. Because that just means I'll have more time to, to learn the ones that I'm working on. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I'm, I, if I can, I'm, I'm finding that if I am sufficiently uh, excited about trying to get in more time to play some other games. So if I'm excited enough about other games, then I can sort of, you know, hustle through my day with a spring in my step and try to eke out, you know, an extra half hour or hour somehow some of the some of the days of the week to to record something um in addition to the fighting game, the daily fighting game. So I've been getting in roguelikes, um on usually on the weekend and then now uh, Gran Turismo 7, uh, which mostly because I played Gran Turismo, Turismo Sport and Gran Turismo 5, and I, you know, there were things about those games I liked, so I I felt like I needed to, to try this new one, especially since it looks pretty nice even on my PS4. Um, so anyway, I feel, I feel kind of good about dipping into a little more things beyond just fighting games, but still, of course, keeping the fighting games as, as the, uh, the backbone, because I still, still like me fighting games, especially, I mean, KOF 2000 is probably like, you know, my, my real backbone fighting game, it's just like, I, I can't really imagine not, uh, not wanting to play KOF 2000. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. But anyway, uh, maybe I'll, maybe if I go up to two days a week, I'll get sick of it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to give that a shot. Um, and, uh, and try to work in other things, trying to get better at time management and so forth. So I can get some other types of things in as well. I, uh, I, I, did have to spend some time this week upgrading my internet because you know why do all these cable internet companies I'm just going on a full fledged rant here I I should be in bed but especially since it's friggin uh spring forward lose an hour of sleep weekend I hate that um cable companies it's always like a deal right they don't just give you prices you've got to get deals uh so they had a they they had like I had the very cheapest cable internet uh deal with them because um it was this weird thing where my my landlord I I got a new landlord this year and they just sort of um carried over my actually the last year and then I signed a new lease with them and they hadn't they hadn't looked at it carefully they just kept somebody whoever there was there uh, just copied over the stuff my old lease had, and my old my my old lease had uh free you know kind of cheap internet provided, um, and that is not a service that this new landlord usually provides. Uh, um, so they didn't even really realize they were on the hook for that, and so when my old landlady who was still running the internet here and maybe that's why I don't know if the new landlords knew she was still running it uh, because she had a place next door and they were both hooked through the same internet tubes you know basically but then she finally sold the place next door as well so she had the ISP shut the whole thing down finally and so everybody here lost internet access and um, and uh, I called the landlords and they said, oh, well, we don't provide internet access. Why would we do that? And I was like, what? I don't, I don't, because the old one did. And they are like, no, we, we don't do that. And I, I actually, somehow I ended up talking to the ISP for some reason. Uh, oh, I was just wondering if like I could just have him just keep providing the internet and I would pay him or something because, you know, it was convenient and it worked and whatever. And he said, oh, no, I can't, I can't really do that because it's actually through the local cable group and they've already, we've already switched that off and removed the, the hardware and so forth. Um, 
but you should check your lease because the the landlady had it was in the it was in the lease and uh so if they just if they just copied your lease it might actually still be in your current lease and I'm like oh that would be weird so i looked and yeah it was it was in the lease um and my current landlords didn't even realize they had put it in there but they had and as soon as I pointed out to that out to them, to their credit, they were like, oh, okay, well, uh, you know, just get some internet and I guess uh, send us the bill. Uh, okay, so I felt like I should get the cheapest possible package, to be fair. So, um, so that's what I did, uh, but when I was uploading, trying to upload fighting game videos each day and then these uh, 1080p uh, Gran Turismo videos was, was basically taking me like, you know, 24 hours a day of uploading. And I was thinking it'd be nice to get a little more upload bandwidth so I would have some breathing room there. And, um, so I called them and I had to try to get them to give me the quote unquote deal for the next higher level, uh, which was on their site. But when I logged in, it was not there because, you know, it wasn't, it was for new signees or something, but you know, you just have to call them. They're like, Oh yeah. Okay. But it took two calls. Cause once they just like put me on hold and then forgot about me and oh, all this junk. Anyway, that took a while. Um, so I got that. And unfortunately they don't, they don't actually publish the upload speed. So it only ended up being 20% faster, <laughs> but actually that 20% has been kind of key. It's like, it's, it makes a big difference, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'll have to go up another, another level eventually, but, uh, we'll see because now, so now I have a more expensive package, so it's not something I feel I can ask the landlords to pay for under the, um, the terms of the lease. So I was just like, well, I'll pay for it myself. Anyway, only, have, I only have like three months left on this current lease anyway and they made it clear that they are not going to have internet in the next lease yeah, yeah. so uh but they do but my cable monopoly does mm, sign you up if you ask they sign you up for the the u.s government's um uh whatever plan or not plan whatever uh system thing program they have that will cover uh, up to $30 of your internet a month uh, if you're low income and something about COVID maybe also you can get in for that. But um, yeah, so I, I'm definitely low income. So well, I don't know what, but the cable monopoly is like, well, this shows that you qualify. It's like, it does? What should, did I tell you guys my income or something? It was a little spooky, but I mean, maybe they just assumed I'm cool because they just go by, like, where you live, and I live in uh, a neighborhood that's all college students, and they probably qualify as, I don't know, like the students at least. Uh, so I don't know why I got in. But anyway, apparently I'm in. So if, if I am in, then I I only have to pay, like, $5 a month, basically, on my current my current plan. So that's, that's not, that's okay. And it's 20% faster, so I can upload 20% more stuff now. Um, uh, so, yeah, anyway, um, more KOF 2000 tomorrow is the upside. And uh, taking a break from Tekken, apologies to all the Tekken fans, uh, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a Tekken poser, I, I feel like, and I, I got to... I got to I got to step away from it for a little while. I think I I don't know. It's it's uh it's not feeling right at the moment. So, that's all I can say about that. Um anyway, that's that's a deal and now I really need to go and prepare for uh, tomorrow night's going to suck. I mean, what you know, what do you do? Do you do you go to bed at your regular time and then just wake up an hour early because that sucks? Or do you try to make yourself go to bed an hour early because that sucks? It's all just stupid. It's all, I mean, you know, this is all, 
this was the power of American farmers back in the, was it the 20s or something when daylight savings time was was mandated? Uh, the farmers could just could just change everybody's clock because it suited their crops or something. We've just stuck with that ever since. Um, uh, well, maybe it's for the best. I don't know. I don't, I do know that I would rather have, I would rather not lose an hour of my weekend, but I can't do anything about that now. So, uh, I guess I'm done babbling. Um, more, K more KOF 2000 tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Uh, good night, and it'll be a less good night tomorrow night because of daylight savings. Um, but good night anyway.